everyone, this is Patrick Valentine and welcome back to some more Pokemon Scarlet. Last time we spent half an hour in the tutorial not doing a lot. And we still kind of and we still kind of are in the tutorial. We're just still not doing a whole much of anything. We have got Coridon, but we can't ride on him just yet. Can't ride on Coridon just yet, but we do now have a possession of his Pokeball after defeating Arvin. Alright, so here is Namona. She wanted us to come on top of the lighthouse, and here we are. And then we see Mega Doza in the background. So that's the first town we're going to be heading to, Los Platos. And now Namona, and now Namona is Spanish by saying "vamos." But there is still so many more Pokémon for us to go find. There's one particular Pokemon I need to get. Whoa, was that... Where's that Gimme Ghoul? Where's that Gimme Ghoul? I can hear it. I can hear a Gimme Ghoul somewhere. Gimme Ghouls are basically Gimme Ghouls are Pokemon that give that, that are give you like these, these these coins that you need to use. Sleeping sleeping dealings. Well, there's Fido. We'll get you. Catch you. Ah, there's the Pokemon I was looking for. It's right behind me. Caldean Looper. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, that kind of stuff happens. See, that's the stuff that people complain about when it comes to these games. Like, this little small stuff like that is just enough to rage it. It's just enough to rage fans and just call it a bad game. Right here is Paldean Looper. Now this thing is not worth keeping around for too long, but I only keep it for one particular battle. I only keep it around for one particular battle. But um, but yeah, it's hilarious. Anyway, this variant of Looper is a poison ground type. I don't plan to use it on the team, even though I kind of want to, but, you know, I, you know, a, a lot of people told me it's not very good. But I only use it for one particular battle. Anyway, let's go searching around here. Because there's still a lot of places to explore, and still more Pokemon for us to go find. 
As long as they're native to the gen as long as they're as long as they're native to generation nine. So the typings I tend to tend to always want on my team is at least one fire type, one electric type, one water type, and maybe at least a grass type. They are the main typings I meant to all I tend to always at least aim for. And here's our first TM. It is protect. There are, there is a really strong TM around here. I remember finding it. I remember finding it when I was playing this the first time. It's just a scatter bug. Ah, there he is! Flamigo! How you doing, amigo? It's Flamigo the Amigo. Another goddamn female? God, if there's... God, if there's one thing about me in these games, I tend to always capture females. Because, my god, I got so many. Because, my god, I got so many in my Violet playthrough. Flamigo is my amigo! Yeah! Gotcha! Amigo is definitely my amigo. Yeah! Keep learning moves! Add to the party. Sure. Let's take out... I don't really want for me. Take out for me. Yeah, 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 I know. Gimme Ghoul, where are they? I keep hearing them. There he is, there's a Gimme Ghoul right there, ladies and gentlemen. And there's another one right up here. Now I don't know all the locations of the Gimme Ghouls, I just only know, I've just seen, I just only know where like a couple of them are. Oh, there's another Gimme Ghoul right there. I'll take your four coins. There's also meant to be ghastlies around here, but I guess because it's daytime. There's another gimme ghoul, like right here. TM? Confuse Ray. That wasn't the TM I was thinking of. I know there's a TM around here and it's really, really powerful. I think it may be behind here. Might be behind this area here. Ooh. Okay, well my character doesn't like that. Fine, we'll go there the right. We'll go there the natural way. Whoa, hello! A lot of spawning. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of fan. There's a lot of uh. Which, I guess you can call them outbreaks. I I guess. Also, this thing right here, this purple thing right here, because I know some of you are probably screaming at me saying, what the hell is this thing? Well, this is one of the locations of one of the legendaries, one of the legendary Pokemon, so make sure you keep that in mind when you go um, hunting for the legendaries. Here it is. Rare candy. There it is, Psybeam. A very powerful move to have this early. And a rare candy as well. Rare candies are definitely going to come in handy. But anyway, that's all that we are really going to do out here. Yeah, I know, this is quite boring and I've wasted like nearly like 8 minutes of your time. 
But this is why I was saving this for um for the next part because I didn't want to waste any more time. <laughs> Just a scatterbug. A Paldean Wooper in the water. That's kind of awkward. Ah! Oh, hi, Choodle. Oh, you know what? I know I said I'll only catch Gen 9 Pokemon. Oh. Well, that's rude. And if you guys know me, you probably got you. And if you guys know me, you probably already know why I'm catching this. Damn it! And I turned the nicknaming off. Should give me the option to nickname it, right? Thank God it's a female, because me naming a male one that name would be kind of awkward. Alright, um, where's, alright, uh, where's the nicknaming option? Turn it on just for this. Just for this, I want to turn it on. Do I really have to catch another one to give it a nickname? Ah, X. Press X. Damn it! I didn't mean to do that. There you go! Just for nostalgia. Nessa. I think a lot of you probably are probably rolling your eyes. Being all like, oh, of course. It's Nessa's signature Pokemon, Dreadnor. It's her signature Pokemon, Dreadnor. I can't, I can't leave out poor old Nessa. She might not be with me right now. I may have, I may have left her back... I may have left her behind back in the United Kingdom in Pal in Galar while I've moved on over here to France to be in Paldea. I think this region's either based on France or Spain. I can't remember exactly, but But I gotta keep her with me in spirit, guys. I've got to keep Nessa with me in spirit. That's why I was super happy when, um, when, um, Dreadnought was actually revealed to be in this game. I was like, I was like, Nessa can, can remain with me even in spirit because Dreadnought is her goat, is her ace Pokemon. Alright, let's get on with the main adventure now. Let's get back on track and get back on the main path, shall we? We will have more time to run around and we'll have much an easier time to run around once we can get on Coridon, but we can't get on him right now because we haven't unlocked the ability to ride him yet. Pokemon Center music. I will I will let you guys 
I will point out uh, when I when I hear a soundtrack, I will let you guys know if I like it. If it's definitely one of my favorites. I don't care about the Let's Go feature. It's a useless feature. I don't like it. It's a useless feature. I don't like it. Yes, I don't like the Let's Go feature. I think it's kind of dumb. But, you know, when they revealed it, like they made it sound like that it was the like it was like the key way to like. Cause you know, like how some of the Pokemon, like when you capture or defeat a Pokemon, like you get like. Like you've, like, you've seen it pop up. Like, you've seen it, like, in the corner. Like, you say that it says, like, oh, we got, like, someone's fur or someone's hair or something. Or, like, a Pokemon's hair or something like that. Yeah, like, yeah, like, they made it sound like that was exclusive to the Let's Go feature when really it's not. Like, you can just catch a Pokemon and they will just, it, like, you can just either... Knock the Pokemon out. You can just either knock the Pokemon out or just catch it. And you will get the materials for, for, for that Pokemon. So it just. So, so you don't need the Let's Go feature for it. That was Strudel Core. Sure, you can learn cover. Don't really care. I'm not going to use you on the team. I'm only keeping you around because I, because like, what other choice do I have? Really? Uh, yeah, I'll, yeah, yeah. I'll keep you. Uh, for now, I'll take out. Take out Lechomp. You evolve into Grafire. Keeping you around is going to be good. Oh wow, there's a Pichu. That's another Strudel. In my Scarlet playthrough, I'm not, like, I should only stick to Gen 9 Pokemon, but, you know, I, I, I thought because since my but, but because on my main account, I'm not really, you know, video cameraing, like, filming it like I am with this one. I thought because I'm not filming my main account of Pokemon Scarlet, like, I'll just use, like, whatever Pokemon I feel like I want to use. So, like, I've got, like, Riolu and, like, Rolts on the team, even though I really shouldn't have them because they're not Gen 9. But, yeah, I have them there for anyway because... But... Yeah, like they yeah, they also give you tips if you um they also give you tips. If you feel like you need any. Uh, Alright, so this is where we need to go. We need to be like this is where we need to go. So we're slowly making progress. We're not we're almost done and we can almost be finally be free from the long ass tutorial section. Well, I would say probably the tutorial is over, but this is like a really long intro before we can be free to do what we want. Because remember, they say this game is, is open world and you can go wherever you want, but like it's like, but this is just such a real long opening to before you can be free to go wherever you want. But I also am a big fan of like the final battle one when you fight her for the final time. Alright, she's sending out for me. 
This is the only reason I have Woompa. And this is absolutely hilariously funny. Mariner, bloody cheating using the mechan using the terrestrialization mechanic straight away. Now that is unfair. <laughs> yes, this is the only reason why I have Wuba on the team. <laughs> You're supposed to be champion rank, Namona! Goodness! You're supposed to be champion rank, and here you are, bloody spamming Thunderbolt, Thundershock on a ground type. That is hilarious. I'm not gonna lie, I cracked up laughing the first time that ever happened. When I saw that happen for the first time when I played this game, I just cracked up laughing because I, because I, because I didn't, because I thought like the poor me would have had, would have known more than just thunder shock. I'm not improving the Mona. I, I'm just, I, I'm just, I've just known match type matchups for years. Taking on a terrestrialization Pokemon and no, having no problem with it? Well, Nimona, you had an electric type that only knew an electric type move. I wouldn't say like it was easy. Yes, come on, can we just get this over with, please? Alright, finally, we're now, we've finally made it to Mega Doza. We're almost done with the tutorials now, finally. Well, at least I should say, well, I guess I should say the opening part of the game. That's the only bad thing about revisiting this game so many times, is because I have to sit through the long-ass opening and all this. That's really the only bad thing when it comes to going back and revisiting some games. You went in before me. How did you went in there before me, Namona? How did you? How did I beat you here? So we can go here and uh, we can get our our Rotom phone all sorted.
I don't really want to waste time. I don't really want to waste time. I just want to get this over with so we can finally be free and do what we want. Oh, great. Got more things to take care of. That's what happens when you hit the walk away. <laughs> Why give us the option? Why give us the option to not bother to help? If you're, all you're going to do is just punish us for not doing the right thing. When you say no, that you don't know who Team Star are, the, the comedy is hilarious. But I, of course I know who Team Star are after playing the game. like this track and I do like the team and I also like the team star boss soundtrack as well yay wolf is learning poison tail nice Now terrestrialize! Thanks, Nimona. Nothing to do with Namona. Yes, yes, I know how to trust the lies game. We've still got a good starter that is very effective on the first two gyms of uh this so I've got a very effective starter at least. Let me go learn to tag and that and that is it. Do 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 do
we're once, we're once again half an hour in, and we once again a half an hour in, and run away. Loses. Not some kind of big hero. Come on, Nomona. Go to school. What if I don't want to go to school? What if I don't want to go to school? stuff is optional and you don't have to do it but you can't like you you have to do it on your first day but I do like that the school stuff is optional like you don't ever you don't ever have to go back to school ever again once you set out on the treasure hunt this is so much talking I just do not care I just Skippy skip, skippy skip the dialogue. You guys should be grateful. I, you guys should be grateful. I don't have to read the dialogue because I don't really feel like it. If this video would go on way longer than it should be, considering how freaking long the, these cutscenes go. His name is Mr. Jacques. Namona trying to act all surprised that she doesn't know who the new student is. Hello, Mr. Jacques. Sit down now in the moment. I'm kind of glad. I'm kind of. I'm kind of glad that you're not forced to sit next to the because then that would just be even more weirder. So yeah, there's just a couple of things we got to do around campus, and we'll be good to go. This is how we unlock our first storyline, the Path of Legends. Know it all, little buddy. for the titans. I'm 
I'm sorry, I'm sorry this take this is taking so long, guys. I know it's probably irritating. But trust me, this this game is But, but this is just how it is. The opening parts just take so long. Give us the option to help you out if you're just going to tell us to be patient and wait. Once this is all done, we're, we're, we're going to finally be free to go. the gym leaders you can do them in any order you so desire but I kind of actually don't recommend you doing that I don't recommend it. The main reason why I don't recommend doing the gyms in any order is because there's no level scaling, unfortunately. There is no level scaling when it, when it comes to the gym battles. So, yeah, you can't really... Like, even if you decide, for example, you go battle the electric-type gym first, her Pokemon will like be in the 30s, but your Pokemon will have to be in around about that area. And then by the time you go back to do like the grass gym or the or the bug type gym, like they'll be like like level 15 or so. So yeah, that's why I don't really recommend you um, doing that because yeah, I don't think you're gonna appreciate it. I don't think you'll put appreciate. Uh, going in any order. There is a set order you can take, so I just recommend you just doing it in the in the uh, set order. 
Like, I think it's bug first, then it's the grass type, and then you can go do the electric. I'm not sure what the correct gym order exactly is, but... But yeah, like... Just don't, just don't do it in any order you so desire, because it'll just be boring. I mean, sure, it's fun to do things in any order, but just don't do the gyms in, in any order. Because then, because then you'll just have an easier time with like the earlier ones. If they scale the levels, then I'd say yes, go do that. But because they didn't, you can't really do that. So yeah, that's why I don't recommend doing the gyms in any order. I don't even recommend doing the team star bases in any order because the steam star bases holy god they are really damn tough i actually lost so i actually lost a couple of times to them they're pretty difficult i didn't lose in any of the um uh titans but you can but don't do them in any order as well because they do have levels God, 40 minutes in, we have 41 minutes in, and we still haven't got far. Oh my God, this this is this is gonna be a long, long series. You know, my Sword and Shield playthrough was long, like about 30 plus episodes long. I feel this is gonna be even longer. Well, we're gonna wrap things up here. We're gonna wrap. We're gonna wrap things up here. So thank you for joining us for part two, and in part three, we are finally get, we are hoping to be finally be free, and we can finally go out on our adventure. See you guys next time.